What else was on All Elite Wrestling? I don't remember. The Dark Order versus oh, oh, oh. Jungle Boy and Marco Stunt. <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons I don't remember. I didn't fast forward because, as I said, I'm doing other things anyway, and I'm letting it go. But I looked up every once in a while with a contemptuous glance. They, they can't even defend this now as well. He wasn't actually getting offense. He was getting offense. And it went for fucking ever. And there is, again, Jungle Boy is a, what a, they're not telling the, why are they not explaining that this is the son of a famous movie actor and television actor who loved professional wrestling and went and trained and changed his name because he wanted to make it on his own but now he has made it. He's on national television and he is, a, a, you know, a, a, so popular with these fans. And why are they not telling the story now? And his, his father, it's not like he's getting over on his father's name. Uh, he's not getting over right now past his natural charisma because they're tag teaming him with a goddamn 12 year old and putting him in with the worst tag team in fucking business on national television. And they're beating them. <clears throat> but the thing, Luchasaurus, I don't want him to come back too early because he's worth a million dollars and I'd rather him err on the side of safety. But if they get Luchasaurus back and put him with Jungle Boy and start telling the Jungle Boy story and get rid of that fucking offensive fucking child, fucking and phony and everything up, then that is your babyface team in all elite wrestling, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, for fuck's sake. They're new. They're not old and worn out. Jungle Boy has all kinds of charisma. He can do all kinds of shit. Yes, he's small, but with Luchasaurus, that cancels it out. And then it gets into the area of you're getting sympathy on Jungle Boy instead of it being a goddamn clown show because out of those four guys, the only one that looked like a fucking professional athlete and a kick-ass fucking wrestler was that fucking Grayson. And then if you take out kick ass and substitute professional athlete, Jungle Boy looks great, but he, he that's his whole, he's Ricky Morton. He's Jerry Jarrett. He's a little baby face, can sell and get sympathy. Then you've got, the whole thing is completely phony and something we shouldn't take, take seriously by having the kid there. And it's poisoning the whole goddamn deal. So, you know, having him there is one thing. You know, I could even see the arguments to using Marco Stunt as some sort of mascot or valet oh, or manager, he, but he's in the yes. ring against the big guy and he's getting offense. They're selling for him. And it, like you said, it's also one thing for him to do some offensive moves, uh, offensive in more than one, yeah, do yeah. some offensive moves, but it's another thing when it goes through a commercial break, when they can't beat him <laughs> in less than 10 minutes. And I just, I think it's just so stupid. It really is stupid having him in there competing on an equal plane with full size wrestlers. I but I'm but he's a nice guy. I'm sure he's a nice guy. So if you're a nice guy, you get to, you know, if you're a nice guy and you love football, then you get to fucking play for the fucking Dallas Cowboys. Fuck. Anyway, is there anything else I cuz I mean that to me it was more of the same shit that they do every week with same people that they do it every week with.